You need to get off the streets. The agency knows my secure locations, and they will be searching for us. This is the safest place I know. Can I come with you? You need to hide, till I know what's going on. It was you who called. Yes. Oh, you must be Victoria. Come on in, child. Thank you for your help. This girl is important. Take this. We will take good care of her, my son. Diana said you need that necklace. Don't lose it. Will you come back? I'll be watching. to meet. Your actions precede you, my man. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta say, I admire a man with the courage to shit where he eats. I'm guessing you're in need of some information, and I just might be willing to play ball. But first, I got a favor to ask. Are you listening? Sweet. Well, see, this is local upstart calling himself the king of Chinatown. Not exactly the understated type. I would really like him to hand in his resignation if you catch my drift. Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mad God Magnations. I'm, of course, Mad God, and today we're playing a little bit of Hitman Absolution. Oh, yes, I've got this game as well, and it's awesome. Uh, I've been playing through a few of the missions, but I thought rather than do my normal source style, in which I do a, a blind playthrough of pretty much whatever game I've got at the time, which if if you're new to the channel because you found this video, go have a wee look on my channel, there's tons of them. Uh, but yeah, and rather than this, uh, and essentially in Hitman Absolutions there are three different games, I just have a look at me. Look at that badass. Uh, there are three kinds of missions that I've seen so far. There are weird challenge missions, missions, which is pretty much summarized by a weird shooting gallery. Like, if you play like me and you play stealth, you don't really use, need your guns that much, so it's a bit of a weird sort of level to have. Um, that's my name at the top there. If you want to find me on PlayStation Network, you can add me. Go ahead, just let me know where you find me. And weirdly, the SNS people, who are you people? You keep adding me, apparently I'm a recruit somewhere. I have no idea who the hell you are, but thanks anyway. Um, yeah, the, the other kinds of missions are weird journey missions. You don't actually have a target in them. You just have to uh, get from point A to point B, avoid getting seen. You know the how it is. And then there's missions like this, the King of Chinatown level, which is assassination missions, which is always fun. So I figured uh, rather than do the blind playthrough, as I said, I'll play through a few missions. Uh, then I'll upload a video like this, which involves me killing the dude and just a way to do it. So if you're stuck on the level, I can hopefully help you. Weirdly for me, yes, I can be helpful. Um, uh, so help you find out where uh, how to do it if you're stuck on a level if I've got the playthrough up yeah but this is the Chinatown level it's actually uh, a lot of people have been really praising this level in particular because uh, if you're a fan of Assassin's Creed and games like that there um, on Deus Ex and stuff like a lot of stealth games on like assassination games uh, the fact that all these people have been rendered so well and essentially as you can see I'm just pushing through the crowd it is pretty badass now there is my target and here is the instinct mode, you can see him there. Now, uh, a little bit about this level, uh, there's apparently a war, like you can get trophies obviously and like awards in the game, achievements, for, uh, for 12 different kills. There's 12 different ga ways they figured out to kill this dude, there are hundreds of ways, you can just shoot up the guy, you can do tons of things. Um, I'll do a wee walk around. Uh, yeah. There you go. Um, 
I'll show DNI DNI since obviously the voice was talking I didn't realize because my volume's down. Uh, this is like the challenges. There are tons of them. As you see, um, I've been playing around a little bit on the level. Um, there is one way you can kill him. Uh, during the level, like the King of Chinatown will dander about. One time he will go and stand, essentially have a little smoke under here. If you position yourself in here, you can sort of have, you won't be seen by the police, you can hide in there. And you can just shoot down that thing on top of him, killing him. And that's always fun. Uh, it depends how you want to play. Uh, the way I prefer, it, which we'll get to soon, is the Fugu Fish, which you can see in the last event there, the, that yellow circle. The Fugu Fish and Poison the Dude. Um, always fun, and that's the way I'm going to play this level. Just I'll get to it now. Now, unfortunately, to get to the Fugu Fish, I can't actually just walk up and take it, because this woman's here, and as you can see, she's been a bit sassy in guarding the Fugu Fish. But there is a way around that, in that if you turn around here to where this little stall is, uh, see, now I'm technically trespassing. I'm not supposed to be here because this is only for uh, shop people. But there is a disguise. And if anyone's ever played Hitman games before, you'll know disguises are fun. Now, I am now... Um, well, I'm now a store clerk. Which means I'm no longer trespassing back here. But the problem is, all these store dudes are now going to be suspicious of me. Because they, they know pretty much all the shopkeepers. And I don't look a lot like them. So they're going to go, in a minute, who are you? But it now means I can walk over here. Uh, she, she got a bit suspicious of me in the yellow circle. But I can happily take the Fugu Fish. Um, oh, she was getting very suspicious there. Um, and now I have the Fugu Fish. No. Uh, you do, it's always nice to go get your suit back again. Because as this is the Chinatown level, there's a lot of these uh, store clerks kicking around. But right now, oh, you see, uh, right now if we use Instinct, you can see our target is actually right there. And there is another way we can kill him. And if we push him down there, it is a bit more public. And obviously in my current outfit, I'm going to have a bit of problem. Luckily I can just stand this crowd and they won't really notice me. There he is, uh, our target, the King of Chinatown. Uh, if you're interested in the story, pretty much 47 is protecting a girl called Victoria. And this, this guy's a local information dealer. And our friend, another information dealer, wants him taken out for obvious reasons before he'll help us. So that's why we're doing this mission, essentially. If, you're, if you want some motivation, why we're killing this dude. Now I'm going to go back again and put on my nice suit. Reason being, it's always nice to leave in what you came in though. Uh, so during these playthroughs, I am. Oh, there we go. Uh, it froze up there for a second. Oh shit. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Uh, Instinct is a good way just to sort of blend. It's like it is essentially the blend feature from Assassin's Creed. The only difference is it's limited. You can only blend so much. Uh, but the fact that I also put in the suit is, you see, there's a lot of these dudes. And if I just make one simple mistake and I walk a bit too close, they'll set off my costume, which will be bad. And I'll just be, I'll lose money, because that's how this game is rated. Now, uh, now that I have the Fugu Fish that we got here, I have two options. Now, down this place is, can I, is he actually up there? That yellow circle is where the drug dealer's apartment is. Uh, the Chinatown has a, is a local drug dealer who's his hookup. And I can go up there, and I can uh, poison the drugs that he has on offer. Alternatively, I can sneak down here, and the drug, well, I can just walk down there. And down there is the drug stash, which eventually the... Uh, King of Chinatown will go and pick up. Let's see. Now, right now, the drug dealer is actually over there, which is bad because um, I I wanted to go up to his thing, which means I may have to delay this. Luckily, the fact that I'm not doing a proper playthrough means I can edit the shit out of this. <laughs> if you watch my normal videos, you'll know it's just blind playthrough. If I mess up, I'll just go back again and you'll see it all. Uh, but, where is he? I know. Okay, now is really the time I should be going then. Now, I can't just walk in here because it's not my house, but I can do this. And so, oh, hang on. Somebody knows me there. Now, I've drawn the policeman out by blowing out his TV or his lights or whatever they are there. He'll now sneak around here. Well, walk. He won't sneak. He can just walk. He's a policeman. But now I'll just go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I'm now past the, the, the guard. Uh, that was easy, wasn't it? Now, what I'm going to do... I'm going to... Uh, because one of the features of this level, obviously, is a lot of different ways you can do it. So there's a lot of stuff you can pick up during a level, if you are interested in pickups. Here's a sniper rifle, uh, which is another way you can kill him in this game. Um, if you decide to, you can, um, right from this window, shoot him in the head. Uh, he's right over there, normally, you see? That's where he usually ch chills out. Right now, he's on the move, which could mean they're on their way up to me, which would be bad, because I'm going to be here when they die then. Um, I'm just going to pick up stuff just for the sake of it. Um, is there anything else I need? Uh, I could use the bottle, can 
Around, I should be good for now. Um, I'm going to need this, actually. Take this. Balls are a handy little tool in the game, in which you can just chuck them and they will distract people. Now, as you've realised, there's a policeman who sat back down. He's fixed the lights. So, that means I have to go out here and get him away looking the other direction. So, that'll just involve doing this. See, now he's all startled. And I can just go do-do-do-do-do. And there we have it. Um, I have essentially now killed the King of Chinatown. Because I've po I did poison that, didn't I? I hope to God I remember to poison the Fugu fish. Oh dear God. Um, shit. <laughs> it's one of those moments where I realize I've been talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, oh balls. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Hmm. One second. As you can see, there are many ways you do this. Uh, as I've done a stupid thing, obviously I now have to go and... Oh, balls. Oh, balls. See, there is the drug deal come back now. I can't remember if I have indeed poisoned the fugu fish. We will find out soon enough, as this guy's going to go up there and go smoke. If I did poison it and be smart, well then we should be fine. I think I did. I'm, all, I'm paranoid now. This game will do that to you, because you will spend so much time. Although it seems like I've just flown through the level, I spent like half an hour just dandering around looking for different ways to kill the dude. Because it's a hitman game and that's how you have to play it, really. If you're gonna, that's why I'm not just loading up the straight kill and the post edit with commentary and just all the little bits you need to see. I think this is a bit more fun away. I was gonna think about doing Aussie gamer style, but that's his style and it's just like, I'm not gonna rip him off. That's just weird. Um, so yeah, as you can see, he's going up there, he's chatting away to the dude. The guy's having problems getting in. That is just in case you happen to be in there at the time. It, there is that hidey hole in the in the wardrobe you could just sort of come on dude the instinct mode does run down it's at the bottom right corner if you're interested um, for the people who've never picked up a scheme or interested this could be a demonstration for you um, if you wanted to get my commentary over the top of it rather than a proper hitman like executive talking about it or a developer <laughs> oh Jesus come on There we go. Uh, there are things in this game, it does take a lot of patience. I will stress that, like some of these levels I will have to edit down because the weight is unbelievable. Uh, you will, you have to have patience in this game. Which if you have seen my playthroughs, you know is something I lack <laughs> on the majority of occasions. And see, now we can actually listen in to what's going on upstairs. Luckily I put the subtitles on. I am pretty sure I poisoned it. If not, I feel really, really feckin' stupid. Uh, I would have stayed up there, but it then becomes a hassle of getting out again because the drug dealer will be there and the cop, and I'll just be trying to avoid both of them, which I thought is just stupid. So, if I did remember to poison, we should be good right now. If not, I can just walk downstairs and kill him down there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did poison him. I can't believe I forgot I did that. Well, now we can watch him die. I think I might have to, uh, while standing in a crowd of people. Drug dealer is panicking. And the King of Chinatown has eliminated. And that is the silent assassin, by the way. Which is the best rating you can get. Um, that is him dead. No, I'm trying to think of whatever ways. You can dress up as a policeman and go kill him that way. Just however you want to find him. Uh, I believe there's a way to do that. There's also the... Um, yeah, then there's a, you can dress up as, I'm trying to remember all the ways now, you can dress up as the drug dealer and arrange a bad buy, you can poison the other thing. You can blow up his car as well, which I believe is located over somewhere. He has like a fancy European car, which for the Americans is apparently fantastic. All my cars are European, so it doesn't really mean much to me. As I said, you can kill him from the guns and that sort of thing. There are other ways. I there are, uh, you can poison his dinner as well. The dinner actually that you saw him walk over to buy there. You can poison that when that guy's looking away. Um, because if I was a store clerk, I could go up, do anything I wanted. The cops not going to know what I'm doing. I just look like I'm on a recipe. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the sound assassin bonus. This is the first. This is the first 
proper mission after the tutorial. Didn't think the tutorial was any point doing. You can preview your score so I can show it off now. Uh, just one second. Once it loads up. Uh, score. Birdie. Silent Assassin. So right now, I'm about to rank up. You can see their objective complete uh, times three. Signature kill, which is a nice way to do it. I'm on normal difficulty because... Yeah, and I've already unlocked all the stuff, so I can now exit Chinatown, and that actually ends the level. So I hope you all like this uh, this little playthrough. The the police are gone, I'm guessing because they're all kicking off because maybe a man's dead. But now I'm going to leave. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Mad God Machinations. I've of course been the Mad God. I hope you enjoyed this little thing, this little this different video for my normal subscribers. If you like it, um, and like it, I'll make more. If you don't like it and tell me so, well, I'll stop. Well, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Bye bye.